In this video, we'll be using Google Slides to make stop motion animation for explorers. We're going to start off in Google Drive and we're going to go over to New and go down to Google Slides. Create a new document. The first thing we're going to do is name our document by writing down your name. So for me, that would be Mrs. Elke and then type in Explorer and then Animation. Next, we're going to add a background to our slide. I'm going to hit Background and I'm going to go to Google uh, Image Search and I'm going to type in what I think would make a good background. Now I'm going to think about where my explorer was going and for me it was across the Atlantic Ocean. So instead of doing the entire world, I'm going to just type in the Atlantic Ocean. Now you can see I have a nice background for my project. I'm going to make my slide blank so that there's no text on it right now and instead I'm going to add my own text box towards the very top of my slide. This is going to be for the title that will show who is exploring and where they are going. So for my project, I'm going to do Mrs. Elke discovers art in Florence, Italy. You can make the text in whatever font you want and whatever size you want. And that will be on all of the slides as I do my animation. Now that I have a title for my project, I'm going to need a boat to go exploring. So I'm going over to insert images and I'm typing it up on the top, boat PNG. And PNG basically will give me a picture without a background, which works really well for this. And I decided instead of a boat, I actually want a ship. So I switched to ship PNG. And I found this blue one that I like because it looks kind of artistic. It reminds me of the paint samples at the hardware store. So this is going to be my boat that I take exploring. I'm also going to find a person to drive the boat. So I typed in girl PNG and I'm just going to use this top girl right here. She looks kind of like a little red riding hood. I'm also going to add a landmark or two um, in the country where the explorer is from. So since I'm from the United States, I'm going to put a house for where I live. And then I'm also going to put a famous landmark of the United States, like the Statue of Liberty. All right, now that I have a bunch of these things that are going to be in my presentation, I'm going to move them around and make them the sizes that I want and put them in the spots that I want. And you can see because I typed in PNG, none of these things have any backgrounds. So you can see the map through them. It's not like they're all in little boxes. Now my boat is sailing the wrong way because I'm starting in the United States and I'm gonna go explore in Italy. So I needed to switch my boat around and then right now the Statue of Liberty is in front of my boat, so I have to move it behind it by right clicking on it. And then I'm going down to the order and I'm sending it backwards until it goes behind my boat. There it goes. Now I need my girl to look like she's actually riding in the boat. So I'm going to crop her box. Even though you can see through it, it's still really big. So I just want to kind of crop it down so that it's closer to her. So you may have to kind of play around with the images. It's very important on this first slide to have everything just how you want it because you'll be copying it over and over again. So I'm going to make her look like she's kind of in the boat. Obviously she's way too big, but it works best for the slide so that you can see her. All right, so there I am as Little Red Riding Hood in my boat. 
ready to set sail to make great new discoveries. Now that I've got everything how I want it on my first slide, it's time to start making it move. My girl does need to go to Italy after all. So to do that, before I do that, I need to make sure that the girl and the boat move together. So you can see right now if I move them, only one moves at a time. So I'm going to select both of them by drawing a box around both of them together. And I'm going to put them in a group so that now when I move them, they go together. I'm going to put them at the starting point and now I'm going to go up to slide and hit duplicate. So I have an exact copy of my first slide. Now I'm going to move my girl and my boat just a little bit and then I'm going to add in an arrow that goes from the land to follow the boat. Now I want my arrows to stand out so I'm going to make them red by hitting the paint bucket and making the arrow red. Now I'm going to duplicate that slide and I'm going to move her a little bit farther and make yet another arrow by just copying the one I have and pasting it right there so that I have two arrows. I can even change the angle of the arrow a little bit so it follows the boat. Now I'm going to duplicate that slide, move my boat even farther and add another arrow. You get the idea. So every time you duplicate a slide, it copies the one right before it, but you have to make sure that's selected. And then each time you want to move your boat just a little bit farther so that it will look like it moves across the water. I'm going to continue this process, moving my boat, copying and pasting arrows so that it looks like my girl is moving to go to Italy and check out all of the art over there. I have one that I've already done so that you can see her entire trip. I'll go down the slide slowly so you can kind of see her move. There she goes across the ocean. I even decided to play around with the color of the boat because it is art after all. So my boat was kind of like a magic boat and changed colors. She's going to go across. Oh, she changed to yellow and then she changed to orange. She's going to do a little spin because she's so excited to be in Italy. And now she has her paint palette and she's splashing paint everywhere. And of course, she says art is awesome. So you can see if you just kind of scroll down through the slides, it shows you what your animation will look like. And you can kind of test it out to see how it looks. Now I think total I have over 40 slides, so it does take quite a few just to get this small little animation going. Pretty cool, huh? If you want your animation to play automatically and to repeat over and over again, Here's what you do. Click on File and go down to Publish to the Web. Then change it from every three seconds to every second. And actually, we'll be making it faster than that later. Next, I'm going to click on the top box and the second box. And I'll have a link here that's ready to go. I'm going to click on this link to select it and then I'm going to copy it. I'm going to start a new tab up on the top here and I'm going to click inside my search engine and paste that link. At the very end of the link is the number 1000. To make it work better, a little faster, I'm going to delete one of the zeros so it's 100. This is the speed that my video will play. Then I'm going to hit enter. And here you can see my entire video stop motion animation is all set and it'll just play over and over again.
Thanks so much for watching, and I hope yours turned out as awesome as Mrs. Elke discovering art, because how awesome is that? <laughs>